Today we're reviewing the new Titleist TSR1 driver, Ferrywood and Hybrid 3 clubs designed to help moderate swing speed players get more speed, get more launch, and get more distance. We have Taylor Ledwine here to hit some shots, give us some feedback, and tell you everything you need to know about Titleist TSR1. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Taylor Ledwine here, uh, online club fitter for Second Swing. And today we're in the tour van with new Titleist TSR1, mm -hmm. uh, driver, fairwood, and hybrid from Titleist. And we're really excited about it for a lot of reasons, but I think the number one reason is because the TSR stuff dating back to last fall has been so, so good mm -hmm. for our golfers that we are just can't wait to see what's in store with TSR1. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited kind of with the TSI line. Mm -hmm. um, the one, you know, like this one is kind of aimed for people who are looking to gain a little bit more speed, a mm -hmm. um, little more distance. And we've had a lot of questions about it over the phone. So, you know, I'm finally excited to get it released for those yeah. players. Right. And I think uh, the cool thing about these is that they basically use the same technology. Mm -hmm. uh, like the TSR1 is kind of like the TSR2. Um, it's got the same face technology, multi-thickness, um, BFT, and then... Uh, they really just take some weight out of, obviously it's a lightweight shaft, 40 mm -hmm. gram shaft, and the grip is also lighter. So through that, they make it, I think it's a total of about 20 grams lighter, both yeah. driver, fairy wood as well. And the result is just golfers are able to gain more speed on that swing. Mm -hmm. And they also slightly increase the length as well to help again with that speed. So yeah. uh, really, again, and I know, I think they say the target speed is less than 90, 90 mm -hmm. miles an hour. I think primarily you're looking at players that are kind of 80, even down to 75, mm -hmm. where they might need a little bit of like help getting some speed. They might be losing some speed, whatever it might be. Right. And so the fact that they have three different clubs that kind of go basically all the top of your bag is covered with TSR1. Yeah, you know, I think it's really good because this can fit, you know, honestly, a wide variety. Mm -hmm. um, it can fit, you know, ladies looking to get a little more speed, maybe um, juniors. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, seniors or people who are starting to see their swing speed you know, come down a little bit, yeah. um, you know, this can kind of get them that distance that they're losing or wanting to gain. Yeah, and I know, actually, it, 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 I know the clubs are designed for maybe those players, but I know up until the end of 2022, Nelly Corda was actually playing mm -hmm. the TSI1. I think she actually had the TSR1 briefly in the bag, too. So it's it's not like it's totally limited either to right. those players. But um, And then moving into the ferry, what I think what they've done nicely well is, is they've, They've made the club head bigger, mm -hmm. so it's um, a bigger footprint uh, than TSR2, but actually it's a lighter weight, weight overall. So they've yeah. made the club head bigger, but it's lighter, so uh, more speed and able to launch that ball in the air. Uh, similar story with the hybrid then, of course, too. Uh, just that lighter weight through the grip, through the shaft tip, things like that. Just making those subtle refinements to give golfers a lightweight, easy to swing, and that's the, that's the key with TSR. It's yeah. just, uh, easy distance and easy launch. So that's where it's going to be fun to kind of watch you do some testing here today. Mm -hmm. You've got the three sort of samples with us here. Um, we'll kind of just have you go through each one, yep. but get your feedback on really how easy it really is to kind of launch that ball and get it out there. Yeah, I, I'm especially excited for kind of the fairway wood, you know. Um, a lot of golfers kind of struggle with yeah. that in their bag. So seeing that little bit extra launch with the lighter option is always nice. Mm -hmm. Are we ready to hit some shots here? I'm ready. Ooh, that's a good ball. So Taylor, you're starting first with mm -hmm. the hybrid, and this is actually the seven hybrid. So Titleist sent us a seven hybrid to test with. Um, and it's actually funny the what you first said when you grabbed that and put it down. Didn't think it was the hybrid. No, I mean, looking at the head, I would think, I mean, honestly, it's close to kind of like my seven wood head. Yeah. Um, which honestly, honestly, you know, is a little nice to have a little bit more kind of club head there for the hybrid. I kind yeah. of like looking down at that. Yeah, definitely it, it has to be appealing to those players that mm -hmm. are looking for ways to get more height and distance, especially off the ground with like a hybrid or fairy wood. Yeah, for sure. You know, when I'm hitting my hybrids, they do look a little skinny and then yeah. I do like the wood look, um, yeah. even for me. So this is a nice kind of look down mm -hmm. at, so. I think I like what these numbers are showing so far because it's clear that you can attack a green and very easily stop the ball on the green with the, the, the spin and the height and the distance that you're generating here. Yeah, I do. That's a nice, um, you know, kind of launch angle, like you said, for coming into greens and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I also love the feel off the face. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's very crisp and pretty solid off mm -hmm. the center, so. 
Now that one I didn't hit quite off the center. It was a little more to the heel. Okay. Well, I mean, you still got it out there 170 plus yards in total. Yeah. So I think that's also kind of the nice thing is we know I didn't hit it right in the center and I'm still seeing, yeah. um, you know, pretty good numbers from yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. That was hit pretty well. Was yeah. That one minutes. felt pretty good. Yep. I like how consistent the spin has been so far mm -hmm. with those few shots that you've hit. Um, I think we'll maybe go one more and we'll take a quick look, but I think that, that spin has been pretty darn consistent. And I will say another thing for some players, this might not be kind of a big thing. We touched on it though. I like how clean it also is yeah. looking down at it. Mm -hmm. Very clean looking club across the board. I think we'll see yeah. that with the fairway and the driver too. That one I caught a little heavy. Yeah. But... So I, I noticed that it appeared to be that kind of high face, a little bit fat, but it still goes and it did. Yeah. Um, you mean you still almost hit that 170 carry. Uh, so I think that's five shots, right? Yeah, it should it be. Was. Yeah, five shots. Let's kind of look at this because I look how consistent the total numbers are mm -hmm. distance wise. Um, but you're getting plenty of launch. That last one was a little bit behind and it kind of took off high in the face a little right. bit up, but uh, almost 17 degrees on average with the launch angle. And then your height is well up there. And like I said, too, plenty of stopping power if you were to attack a green with this. Mm -hmm. And so I think, I mean, give me kind of your takeaways, because I imagine a lot of people will actually play, you know, multiple, a few of these hybrids, the seven hybrid, five hybrid, whatever it might be, yeah. in the bag as they kind of bridge that gap between, you know, a three wood or a five wood and then irons. Yeah, so I think this is, I mean, for any player, really, I mean, this is a good option to carry in your iron, or in your bag, yeah. I'm kind of after your irons, if you're kind of struggling with maybe those longer irons a little mm -hmm. bit, um, you know, the stopping power is pretty good. And even the ones that, that one I kind of hit behind yeah. it a little bit. And then the third shot there, that yeah. was the one kind of off the heel. I mean, the carry is four yards, yeah, four yards. compared to the worst one, or the other one. But, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very forgiving hybrid. Um, you're getting stopping power and yeah. It's clean to look at and yeah. the contact off, even when I knew I hit it off the heel, you can feel it, which you're going to with any club, yeah. but it didn't feel like a bad shot, which right. I think is also important. Yeah, it, exactly. I think that's, and then uh, here's, I mean, look at the, how consistent that dispersion is. Mm -hmm. You have the one, this is the one that you kind of missed, right? This yep. is the, like, it was off the heel, you said, mm -hmm. and then you're, you're barely off track with that one, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, and then this is the one that you kind of hit a little bit behind it and your face might have been a little bit open because of it and whatever, but you're still at relatively the same distance, I think, which is what you want to see. Yeah. Um, and you're, it's just consistently launching the ball high enough with some extra distance and then some extra speed too, because I think this is probably a little bit lighter club than you usually play with your seven yeah. hybrid or eight hybrid or whatever it is. Um, so, I mean, all things considered, I think pretty good feedback there. Yeah, and I think the important thing is also kind of that circle is a very tight, yeah. dispersion circle mm -hmm. um, and like we touched on the misses like you for me personally I like to see that little tightness you know not way short way right. long so this is a good um, kind of circle I'd be looking for with club yeah. I'm gonna hit into the green mm -hmm. yeah absolutely so now we kind of go maybe a club that you won't necessarily always be hitting to get on the green but right. it's certainly a club that is necessary in the bag well mm -hmm. the three wood here okay 15 degrees so that was because they got a bunch of hybrid lofts, right? Four mm -hmm. hybrid to uh, seven hybrid for Titleist. Now the three wood, they also have a five wood. Um, TSR one, 15 degrees. Put that one down and tell me what you see prior to even hitting a shot. Just give me your thoughts. So I can tell it is a little bit longer to kind of help with that distance that we touched yeah. on before. Um, club head is obviously bigger than the hybrid. Yeah. I'm a little bit bigger than my current three wood. And I have the TSI three. You do? Okay. Yep. So a little bit bigger, but yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be a lot bigger than the three. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just, it's so clean. And that's yeah. what I like about the, the, all the TSR line. Yeah. They're that very sleek, you know, a little bit shiny, but not yeah. too distracting to look down at. Yeah, it, it is. They really clean it up there. They don't, you know, other, um, other brands throw either different colors or logos mm -hmm. or whatever else. Um, you know, I know Ping's got the turbulators, other things on the crown that, depending on the player that you are, you know, if you get distracted by that type of thing, then you might not like that club. Right. There's absolutely nothing on there from Titleist. It's just, you know, very clean, glossy black crown. 
And it does it kind of just lets the performers do the talking in a way. Right. And just looking at the club head itself, I mean we said it is a little bit bigger, yeah. but it's still very sleek. It's yeah. not chunky, you know. Right. Um, it's a very sleek looking club head. Yeah. So Yeah, and you look down at the bottom of it too, you don't see a lot going on. It's just mm -mm. here's here's where our back weight is. The rest of it's basically aerodynamically designed to like bite through that wind or bite through the air and let you know give you a little bit more speed. Mm -hmm. um, even if it is fractional, you know, at the, especially at these speeds, like those little yards can matter. There you go. Choke down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that'll help. Yeah. So, yeah, you mentioned the, that kind of the tricky aspect of this one is just it's a little bit longer mm -hmm. in length. That's kind of the, another way that they're helping increase that swing speed a little bit because a lot of times these players, if they're not swinging it super fast, obviously then they're probably hitting it straighter when they hit it solid. So yeah. they can kind of afford maybe add a little bit of length. So. I'm sure that's a little bit of a tricky thing that you'll work through with uh, swinging it. but Yeah, and especially uh, being a little bit on the shorter side, yeah. it is a little bit longer for me. So I'm just going to choke down a little and see yeah. if that helps. That sounded really solid, too. Yeah, that one felt really nice. Yeah. Two of them kind of in that same range there, a little over 200 carry. What's your thoughts on, I mean, we talked about the look of it a little mm -hmm. bit, just a little bit kind of a larger flatter almost footprint but how about the feel yeah the feel on both those i mean off the center it feels feels really nice yeah. um feels good and crisp so you know pretty much mm -hmm. all i'm looking for in a three wood right. i'm just looking to hit the center when I, you know when i take my three wood out yeah. so yeah that's good that's really good yeah you know i am kind of tugging it left just a little bit but i mean well, this is also, you know, a lighter shaft, yep. lighter flex or more flexible shaft than you would typically play. So those things matter here. And, and you know, there's not a, we don't, you're not the perfect person to hit this test or to hit these yeah. clubs would be somebody that actually needs them. So, um, but with that said, I think we're seeing really good pop. From oh yeah. This, and I think it'll translate to somebody that doesn't, you know, that will play them. I mean, Pretty good stuff here because you're seeing the ball carry away over 200 yards and it's mm -hmm. pretty consistent too. I mean, if I'm not obviously going into a green, but if I'm laying up and even if I have that little bit of left on there, I mean, with how solid it's coming off the yeah. face, I'm not even you know upset that it's turning yeah. over just a little like that. Now that one I caught a little more off the toe. Okay, interesting. But Actually went further. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So. But I mean. I could feel that I hit it off the toe, but it still yeah. felt just as solid. Yeah, I actually went by far your furthest one. Yeah. Uh, you also, I mean, you swung a little bit faster at it still, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, furthest one. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about, because um, I know, do, do you actually, in your bag, do you have a three wood or do you go to a five wood or a four wood or? I have a seven and a three. Okay, you do. Yep. So, because I think there's, you know, players at this type of speed are probably even, well, players that are probably slower than you will fit into TSR1. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do wonder, like, if they should just go to the five wood and not maybe have a three wood in the bag just for the sake of loft because yep. um, it was pretty consistent for you, and I think it works for you here, but then there is maybe a point there where a slower player might not get enough height out of a 15-degree three wood. Yeah. I think kind of the way I would look at it is, you know, to test both if players yeah. are able to. Um, you know, sometimes that five wood is a little bit easier to hit as well. Yeah. So if you're struggling with the three wood, don't kind of feel discouraged to go to the five wood and then go right to the driver. Um, I don't really think there's anything wrong with that. It's just kind of what fits your gapping and what is the best club for your game. Right. Yeah. And, and that, that's where we obviously always encourage the fitting because mm -hmm. you get to come in, you can test out, you can hit a TSR one, three wood and a five wood yep. and see those differences. And there is, I do think if you fit into this category. If you're swinging your driver 80 miles an hour, I think you might see the five wood actually goes further than the three wood. Well, I mean, and the other nice thing about, you know, almost every model out there now is the loft sleeve. Yeah, true. So you could get the five wood and maybe kind of take it down just a little bit. And then you're getting the look of the five wood and yeah, the loft's down a little bit, but if it's easier for you to get in the air, then that's yeah, also a that's good true. option. That's, that's, a, that's a great point. So numbers, um, 
there's the averages. We kind of yeah. see the, the three would go up. I mean, obviously it's gonna go further than the seven hybrid, but mm -hmm. um, if we expand this and go by each shot, you can see how kind of consistent it was. And then as you kind of gained your club speed a little bit, mm -hmm. things progressed as they should, a little bit more carry, but I mean, really good stuff there yeah. uh, overall. And then if we bring up the dispersion map where we're at so far, we can see the two of the seven hybrid down here three wood up here and you have that consistent draw yeah. working i, I well, mean it, that's and that's and that's where too i know you play with maybe the an open hosel setting yeah at least in the driver so like that those are things that can be in a fitting you know changed where you can move that oval back towards the center. yeah well like you touched on you know this is um a little bit light of a shaft yeah this is a regular and i have a stiff in my three wood um so that's kind of where we're seeing the left too yeah. But I mean, if I'm laying up on a par five, you know, I'm not complaining one bit about oh, yeah. that. So um, it's a great feel off the face. Um, the choking down did help. So if you're a little yeah. bit shorter like me, yeah, yeah. Um, choking down and, um, you know, you're getting some great results. So I think Titleist did a great job with uh, mm -hmm. the whole TSR line, but also this one yeah. that's focused on people that are looking for a little more distance. Right, right. And then, I mean, we, I also wanted to note too, because you mentioned the women that would potentially, you know, mm -hmm. be fit into these and there's going to be a lot. The women stock lengths are one inch shorter across the board. So yeah. um, there is that possibility if you're interested in these and, um, you know, you can always go that route as well. Right. So, um, all right, let's try the driver here. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I imagine we'll see similar themes because I know, I mean, Titleist doesn't uh, really stray too far from what they usually do. Right? Yeah. So. Um, you've got it in your hand now. Why don't we just get that feedback? I mean, it's again, the, the clean crown on the driver. It's mm -hmm. been the case with the other two. So anything else jump out at you? Just kind of, you know, like we've seen with the other two, just that bigger club head. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, same feedback. It's just, it's so nice to look down at that yeah. clean, um, almost like shiny reflecting back yeah. at me, you know? So in a way it's almost boring, but that can be a good thing. Right. Uh, for the, for the player that, again, if you're one that gets distracted mm -hmm. and you really need to focus, that's probably the right one for you. Yeah, for sure. Oh. So that, that left tendency is probably just going to happen because of the shaft and yeah. everything else. Um, I kind of came over that one a little bit, but I, I mean, I feel stuck still felt like it was off the center so yeah that's good i mean yeah and it's so you, you've marked sort you, i think we should note like the tsr2 is kind of they made that way more compact than the mm -hmm. previous two so i think that in, in the in the driver category the tsr1 might fit even more players like if you yeah. need if you maybe were the tsi2 player in the previous generation looking to upgrade i, I almost think you the, the one might be a closer fit than the two now in the, in the TSR series because yeah. the, they made the two so much smaller, closer to the three, that the, the TSR one might be more of, well, you definitely want to try that mm -hmm. in with the two if you're going to upgrade, that's yeah. what I would think. And you know, we talk a lot about visual for people. Some yeah. people just like looking at the bigger head. Yeah. So definitely if you're used to that bigger one, right. don't let saying, oh, this is for the slower swing speeds discourage you from oh, yeah. just giving this a try. Well, that's you know, the thing, because I mean, it, it, that's the, the stock shaft is what, 40 grand, yeah. I think for, uh, men, but you can throw another shaft mm -hmm. in there. That's how Nellie Corda was playing it. You know, she wasn't playing a 40 gram shaft right. in the driver. So um, there's, it, it's always a possibility to put a different shaft in there. For sure. Oh yeah, that one was melted. Yeah. They'll take that one, I think. Yeah, for sure. I think kind of across the board, what I've really noticed with all three is just the feel off the face. Yeah. Um, I can't, I don't want to say it's too much feel, but just, it's just a nice kind of crisp, even the ones I haven't hit right off the center. Yeah. You can tell, but it's not like with it's some not, other yeah. items. It's not obnoxious. Yes. Yeah. Another good one there. Oh my goodness. You're pushing one, two, pushing 270 here. <laughs> Ooh, that might. Left that open just a little, it felt like. Oh, yeah, yeah it was just a little bit. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. No. If that's a, if that's a miss, it's a 150 smash. Yeah. <laughs> um, with a more or less a perfect spin number. So, driver. I think yeah, this was the one that you kind of turned left a little bit. Yep. 
Um, if we take that one out just for the sake of the numbers, we can see how the averages are so close together again. I mean, look at the total numbers here. 263, 265, mm -hmm. 68, 63. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, I mean, one four nine smash. You're launching it plenty high at thirteen and a half. Uh, that's gonna do really well out on the course. So, mm -hmm. any other takeaways from hitting the the TSR one driver? Not really. I mean, it's just Titleist has done a great job with, um, you know, like you said, Nelly Corda plays it. So yeah. it fits a wide variety, but also giving the people who are looking for more distance some yeah. options with the bigger club head, lighter shaft. Um, I think they did a great job with it. Yeah, they they they, they definitely have I me. Mean, we were so excited because TSR two and three, and mm -hmm. then into the four a little bit with the driver. But two, TSR two and three have been so good already. Yeah. So to see them add to that with the one uh, and see how it tests really well, I mean, mm -hmm. that's we're not surprised. Yeah. But it's still cool to see it come to fruition here. So, For sure. Uh, I think really good stuff here. I mean, there's nothing really to complain about. I'll bring one, one just to wrap it up here in terms of the testing portion. We'll see that dispersion. Yeah. Um, I guess this was that one that went left. Yeah, the one so I, I kind of came I over. Get that out of there. And your four out of five good shots were bombs, uh, well over 260, so pretty good. Yeah. So Taylor, testing complete. Mm -hmm. TSR1, driver, fairway, hybrid. I um, actually started with the hybrid and went back up, but um, we saw really, really good good stuff. Uh, easy to launch, yep. easy to get plenty of height that you need, especially with the hybrid to get that stopping power mm -hmm. on the greens. Uh, and then the driver was, I mean, it was explosive for you. So I think a lot to be excited about if you're a player with maybe those moderate speeds. Yeah, I think kind of, you know, this shows that they're succeeding in kind of what they're trying to do with this line. Um, I think the other important part is we've already talked, you know, kind of Nelly Corda played the TSR2 mm -hmm. or TSR1, sorry. Don't be discouraged, even if you are someone that has a little bit higher swing speed yeah. to, like you said, you can change the shaft in them. Um, just the club head themselves, and if you need a little bit more launch, they're right. a great option for you as well. Right. So I think we, we kind of try to s summarize, you know, who the club is for. And I think Titleist is, is, I guess, presenting it in a way that it's for the moderate swing speed player. Right. But like you right. said, that can be a lot of people, and it can also doesn't have to be a, just a swing speed thing. Mm -hmm. It could be because it's going to be the most forgiving and highest launching yep. of the models in the TSR line. So if you want forgiveness and you want high launch, mm -hmm. and that could be a lot of different players out there. Yeah. Um, you know, they're kind of, well, they're mainly targeting it at slower swing speed, yeah. moderate um, ladies, because yeah. some ladies, you know, would like to get a little bit more uh, speed. Mm -hmm. And then some juniors who are yeah. kind of in that, like, in between of, you know, staying in juniors or going to, like, a regular shaft. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's where, you know, we can, in terms of the length of the shaft, right, we can mm -hmm. cut that down here and get it all set up, yep. adjusted with swing weight and things like that at second swing in the stores. So. Uh, that, I mean, you're, you're right about that. And I think a lot of people might not think of the, the, the female golfers or the junior golfers, teenage golfers out mm -hmm. there. Um, I think it's, you primarily think of maybe the, the senior player that maybe right. is losing some swing speed, but there's a lot of different areas where the TSR1 driver fairway and hybrid can help a player. So I think we showed that today in the testing. It's mm -hmm. pretty good stuff. Yeah, I uh, love the numbers, you know, even maybe I don't play that shaft that's yeah, in there, right. but you know, the launch that I'm getting and the distance that I'm getting, um, is pretty ideal for what I'd be looking for. Right, so I think last thing left really is just to tell golfers to get fit at second swing. Come into one of our store locations and schedule that fitting, or you can speak to someone on the phone like Taylor, they'll get you dialed in. Um, play in the right, right shaft, uh, and also of course the right club head that's for your game. So Taylor, thank you for joining and hitting the shots today. Really good stuff from the TSR1. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm confident that it's gonna be successful.